Hi guys, Coach Namia here. Welcome back with another video. Remind me to always look on my left, okay guys? Because <laughs> I'm always looking in the wrong direction. So, <sighs> I don't know why I'm breathing so um, heavily. Anyways, I wanted to share with you this pretty interesting um, video. As you can tell from the topic, you can already tell it's going to be about judges. It's going to be about why judges wear <laughs> wig and why the white blonde wig I uh, some for some reason heard that the wig was made out of a horse his hair horse tails hair um maybe bleached out to be white i'm guessing because most horses you there are white horses but what if they don't have enough white horses i'm guessing they'll get a new horse's tail and hair and then dye it and then sell it and then they can create the um the uh, judge's um, wig. Remind me again to look this way. Whew, I've got a long, <laughs> long note here. I'll try. I try and get it done very fast, so you don't become bored. I try to keep my videos nice and short, so you don't feel like I'm talking forever. So, why do these judges wear wig? Um, especially white wig. I know that back in the days during slavery, that's what the um, colonizers used to you know where and then i don't know how long ago after that they made it a judge thing and another thing that the reason why i've been triggered to make this video is because i noticed that many judges in africa are also wearing wigs and it's white wig which i don't understand why wear the same wig that the colonizers has worn the whole idea is to do better not to bring back slavery or follow what the people who are treating other people badly is way so without further ado let me jump straight to it apparently okay so why do these judges wear the white wig apparently is to hide any wicked thoughts from god because no man can stand judgment over another so apparently they think okay <laughs> so they do these <laughs> so god may not see their wicked thoughts apparently this is what these caucasian judges wear the wig for so that whatever wicked thoughts they have god cannot see it as long as i got my wig on <laughs> well god no one can judge me god can't judge me because i've got my wig on how silly does that sound like i don't understand how people can just find that normal it's 2020 not because it's 2020 but like these things these laws need to be changed because they're not doing any good anyways that's why um that's why white men use words such as creator which is god because they believe god didn't create anything god is man made okay all right so they put the wig on because they are about to play so when they go to court when they go dress up <laughs> they know they're about to play that's literally what they're going to do so it doesn't matter whether they ruin someone's life whether they send you straight to jail straight to a uh, death sentence it's a game no one's gonna judge me i've got my wig on how weird does that sound do your own research okay i just find it very fascinating because i was like I used to think about it, but I never really thought about it in depth. It's just a message that came into my mind that said I should share this knowledge because then everyone gets to know what's going on. And if you think it's a normal thing to me, I totally disagree. It's not normal. Okay, let me continue reading through my notes. So, um, so it's called, um, so there are judges that don't wear the wig. Sometimes you see, but beside them there is a canop canopy i think it's called so that apparently will help you to still play because as long as that thing is there canopy canopy or canopy um canopy that it will help you so god doesn't still see <laughs> what you're about to do <laughs> it's so ridiculous um so pretty much, yeah. So if you notice a judge is not wearing that, look for the canopy. Look around them to see what's there, okay? Uh, so that's what you notice Any judge that is not wearing a wig. Just like other religious, 
like nuns who wear the scarf basically at church you know how you see nuns to hide their thoughts from the creator which is from god so that's why you, in some churches you see you know people even people try to do it too when they go to receive the holy communion they go cover their head and go receive holy communion as soon as they finish eating the holy communion they'll remove their scarf which i never understood why god still can't read your thoughts i don't know what you people thinking anyways <laughs> wearing okay so that's not wearing okay all right so from creator if you think that the creator cannot see through a wig which I think it's very insane. It is very, very silly. Okay. Then there is something wrong with you. Or with all these people. Definitely. Just like, what's his name? Mark Christopher says. Because to me, I don't know anyone that just thinks. Okay, I've got my makeup on, guys, today. So I can lie to you and say whatever the heck I want because I've got a cover off, cover up mask. So today, it doesn't matter what I say. Or I can be mean to you because I've got my makeup on. Do you see this, this weird shit that happens around us? And nobody really, there are people who think about it, but like, how weird does it sound? It sounds really stupid. Yeah. So anyways, that's the end of my note. So, you know, another thing, I, another message, I just want to, another hint I want to put on. You know how when you enter the court, when you enter a courtroom and of course they ask you to remove any headscarf, hats, or whatever. So, you know, so, you know, sorry, I'm just reading my notes. Okay, so when you go to court, what do they ask you to do? They take the, um, they ask you to take your cap off. Anything on top of your um, head must be taken off. That shows that these people are hypocrites. Yeah. Yeah. It just shows how hypocrite people can be. So they're about to play. And I didn't even go into depth into why they dress like a priest. Do your research. We live in a society slash matrix shit that's happening around us and people don't really see anything wrong with it. They think, yeah. The whole idea is to let people be free, not to not to do all this weird shit. Okay, let me not put my own opinion, but anyways, and um if you wanna go into depth, do your own research. Um basically also oh I want to share a quick thing. Gosh, this video is gonna be long, I'm sorry, but it triggers me. It's like what it triggers me okay so um at least you wrote hypocrites <laughs> so the tail of the wig is what um, um male witches wear now we're doing witchcraft in court too so you can't come on here and tell me that these people are not doing witchcraft okay so basically the head of the wig is what male witches wear so it's called Warlock, which is warfare, wearing, worship, worship. So when when they go in there, they expect you to worship them. Basically, you should literally check out um, Mark Christopher. He will let you know more in depth. I literally did more research about that, about this, but like, why would they do that? Like, how could someone be okay with this? And yet they tell you African spirituality is bad. Or at least, you know, I don't think you should worship other people, other gods. But like, what's the difference between these people and what other people consider as doing witchcraft? Like, what's the difference, literally? And there's other ones that also trigger me um, about when they say, you know, when you enter court, they say, all right. Do you know why they say that? Apparently because they treat you like a dead person, like you all are dead. So they're telling you to come back to life. How freaky and witchcrafty is this? All rise. And let's not to mention all the different planes at court. You have different planes like it's like to me i can relate them to dimensions 
you know these people have some weird shit anyways i'm i'm gonna end this video it's 10 minutes now i'll see you in another video bye